What is up everyone, this is Mecha, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem Conquests. Today, I'm here with my hands, and we're gonna play another chapter, but first, I really wanna improve this quality a little bit, so... Well, that's a lot better, isn't it? Jeez. How have we come this far? <laughs> well, to find that out, let's rewind a little bit, and unwrap some packages. Alright, I got another suspicious looking package in my mail. All it says is... Yes, spectacular. I wonder who it could be from. Let's check it out. Ah, it's been so long since my last package. Ooh, what's this? It looks like another freaking 3DS. Ooh, nice. We got a sick looking 3DS. We've got a nice cable. There's a long cable too, that's convenience. That's about it. Gee, I wonder who it could be from. Alright, moment of truth. Does it actually play Fire Emblem Conquest? Because I know for a fact that this 3DS is European and my Fates cartridge is American. So, please work. Please. I just love the sick look of this 3DS. Like, it's so smooth. It has like, con like Final Fates Conquest things too. Oh god, it's gotta update. Always gotta update. Go ahead and update, young friend. Okay, and there is nothing inserted in the game card slot. Now that's a lie. There is. So let me see if I didn't fuck this up somehow. Okay, here we are again. We got another suspicious package because I did foresee the region lock sort of. So we took some measures. So one more package to open and then maybe this will all be good. Man. So many hours of ripping open packages. Spectacular. Let's see. Ooh, we got a nice cable for connecting, you know, something like a capture card. And yay, more Fire Emblem Fates Conquests, but this one, this one should be compatible with the DS. Let's check it out. Got this baby right here. All right, put it in. Here we go, moment of truth. Can we do this? Looks like it works. Cool. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I had one 3DS, no games, except like Pokemon X. Now I have Fire Emblem Echoes, a Fire Emblem Fates cartridge that I can play of my own. And then I have a borrowed 3DS with a borrowed Fates cartridge that lets me use a capture card that I also borrowed, because it's in the 3DS, to record in this quality instead. That's insane. I never thought people would want me to play Conquest badly enough for this to happen. But it did. So, again, um, thanks for all the people who have donated this, this stuff to me. Uh, my last generous donor is none other than Mangs himself. Uh, he let me borrow his capture card, 3DS, and uh, even a Conquest game, because as you saw, I was getting region locked out of using his 3DS with my own Fates cartridge. Uh, apparently, um, let's see, my own 3DS is American, my own Fates cartridge is American, the 3DS I'm borrowing from Manx is European. He tested his American cartridge in his American 3DS? No, whatever, he tested, he tested it, it worked for him. But it didn't work for me. But thankfully, I thought of it before he sent the stuff, so he also sent over um, a cartridge I could use no matter what, so that I would not be stuck without a working Fates cartridge. So thank you very much to the people who sent me all this, especially to Manx, uh, so I can report this in a higher quality. Uh, I whipped up a real quick layout. It's no really, <laughs> there's no real effort into it. Um, I got a Sado. I, I kind of, I'm kind of drawn more towards the way that Corrin looks in Conquest. I never liked Corrin at all, but I actually really like the way she looks in this artwork. It's really cool. Middle Corrin looks like shit. Corrin overall, 
I hate self-insert pandering, etc, etc. But this is a really well-designed looking character, besides the whole thigh window thing. But that's not in this picture, so uh, let me know what you think of the layout. Uh, I went for a vertical layout, but whatever you guys want, I'll take it into account. Shut the hell up, I'm trying to talk. So yeah, without further ado, let's enjoy some conquests. I had to start over again. So this is my... I think this is the second time I'm playing this chapter. Um, just a reminder, I started out with the, the ghetto layout. Um, played like one chapter. Uploaded it to see what people would think. And in the meantime, I played up to the route split. Thinking you guys wouldn't want to see more of the ghetto la layout in that. People wanted to see more anyway, so I restarted. Played it again. Uh, uploaded a little bit of it. And then I got sent this, and I had to like start over the file because Manx wasn't as far as I was, and like I wanted to play it from like I wanted it to be my own playthrough from the start. As you can see, Manx is like a Phoenix file here that I haven't really used, uh, but this is the file I'm using. So still hard classic. Um, the corn is exactly the same as uh, the one that I used in the last upload. So like uh, she looks the same, uh, but she, I think she's plus attack minus luck. Uh, but I did do the Lancer, I think. I uh, will see when we get like a heart seal or whatever. So yeah, let's get going. Uh, chapter 4, Hoshido. So I think this is the purpose of this chapter is to introduce you to Hoshido characters. For if you haven't chosen the Rust split yet. Okay. And some people have been asking, like, why aren't you pressing start to skip the story, story which uh, I think would be the good play. But I wanted to re-familiarize myself with it, because it's been a while since I saw the Conquest story. I only saw it once. I know it's bad, but it's fun to make fun of it for a little bit. Kind of poke fun at how bad it is. I, I can't help myself. It's fun. Plus, I don't want to miss any, like, story cues on what to do in the chapters themselves. I also turned off the voice acting, uh, like a lot of you have been saying. Uh, I knew I could, I just, I thought I would find it funnier, but it's honestly just been really annoying me. It's a really bad trend in video games. <laughs> I hope no one, no other game does that, the whole mismatching voice line thing. So I'm reading it real fast, but I'm not gonna like analyze it or voice act it out or anything. Oh god, I gotta charge my 3 ds <laughs> be right back. Alright, all plugged in, ready to go. Right, so this is when we're like introduced to Makoto. Palace, and like Takumi, Ryoma, etc, etc, etc. All fine and dandy. I mean, I find most of the Hoshin and characters kind of boring. Especially Ryoma. I do like Ryoma and Warriors, though. Awkward looking around. Well, this is a character I definitely like to get no to get to know more for more than like two chapters, right? I mean, one chapter. I mean, a half chapter. The plot thickens. Isn't this where they zap her with the real memory? Yeah. This is where it suddenly comes back. I do think the Fates cutscenes, like these ones, they don't look bad at all. It's the ones with the weird models that I dislike. Also, this flute music is kind of unnerving. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's go. Okay, so... Jacob is gone for now, but we do have an NPC Ryoma. We got Kaze and Rinka. Now, like I said, I'm not completely blind to the utility of these characters, but... I don't know a whole lot about him. I know this guy is like a ninja, so he has like the debuff things. Let's see. He grants speed plus two and lower enemy stats on a hit. Uh, recover one point per turn, and then they drop like magic, defense, and resistance. I think Kaza sticks with you in Conquest, but don't quote me on it. And he seems fairly good. Uh, I don't know what's up with like a, a speed cap of 14 though. That's like really weird for a tier one unit. Like even in GBA, where a power creep isn't as big. They are usually like 20 at least, so I wonder what's up with this caps in this game. But from what I know, Kaz is fairly good. And then Rinka... Uh, from what I've used her, I think you get her in this chapter and the next, and she didn't impress me much in either, so... don't really want to use her very much. I didn't find her very useful in this chapter either, I'm just gonna get the village with her. Also, this Robin is like super RNG blessed from what I can tell. I got strength or speed, or both, on like every level up. And I know has good growth, but I think this is like a much better Robin than I had before. So, pretty excited to use this. And, yeah. So I'm just gonna get that silly village with Rinka. I don't know if I need to like trade that item to someone else that stays with me or not. I don't know how that works in this game. Oh, a, a vulnerary, nice. Okay, so whatever, you have it. Cool. Uh, this pair up gives a bit of a move, I think. Doesn't really matter. Uh, from what I can tell, you just gotta climb this mountain, use dragon veins to get up there faster. Or at all. I don't know if you can move through these woods. I think you can. And then these faceless guys like bash your face in. Probably because they're jealous, because they don't have faces themselves. Yeah, so they're just moving towards Hinoka and Sakura. But from what I can tell, they last quite a while, and Ryoma also hurries up the mountain. So I'll just Dragon Vein here. Clear a path. I do like that you can like preview the Dragon Veins a little bit. To see what they do. Uh, one learning thing is Ryoma like, steals my EXP. So I hope he goes the other way, but so far he hasn't for me. I think enemies move before Ryoma. Uh, I don't want to be in range of this guy yet. So I kind of... Oh, uh, Korn already moved, I guess. I feel like this guy is just going to attack me no matter what. I could debuff him. A little bit. And then he comes to me and like dies. That seems okay. Better than like Ryoma taking the kill, I guess. That way Ryoma might go up. This way I won't have a pair up, but sacrifice has gotta be made. Yeah, they don't do anything to Hinoka. I thought at first I was playing on like normal mode or something. The enemies feel so much weaker. But two stars can't be normal mode, right? That has to be hard mode. Um is that a skill or does he like Oh, where are you going, friend? I was hoping you'd go up here, but I guess this is no road where I, another route where you can go. Anyways, let's see. Do you heal yourself sometimes? Mm, that's weird. Oh, I guess Sakura did. It. Yeah, she must have done it. She has 19 uses left. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't see your moving animation. Okay, so he's kind of hurt. Can you double? Yeah, Corrin does double these, so what I'm gonna try to do is pair them up and put them in range of one of these doers. Or I can have Ryoma take care of that and hurry on hurry along. I think I like that better. I think I can tag along. I'm not sure how much use she's gonna be, but we'll see. I probably miss using all these units. I think Rinka is like. I have a vague memory of people saying she's good as like a pair up bot to give a bunch of attack, so maybe that's the way to use her. Maybe I can check somehow. Uh, I can't really check this way. Hmm. Wait, is this... Does green mean capped? Or maybe it just means paired up. Hmm. That might be it. That might just mean he gets a pair up bonus. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Anyway. Uh, some of these have some kind of debuff skill, I think. Like seal or something. Poison strike. Yeah, that's annoying, but I'm not the one I was looking for. I think this is it. Seal defense, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Plus six defense attack basically for the next guy attacking me. Okay, I'll try this. 
I think. And high defense. 18 attack, 14 attack, 16. Okay, so around 16 attack on average. Like 7 damage. I died at 3 of these, so... If I pop this Dragon Vein, all these guys will attack me, so maybe I shouldn't yet. Maybe I should just go here. For now. And keep Rinka on the back as an option, I guess. Maybe it's like a rescue drop option. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take on all of these. Okay, I do have shield gauge though. I need to take that into account, but it's I'm not used yet to thinking about like when it's gonna trigger. I think on average I get like a couple procs every time I get a battle, like one for every hit dealt by basically. From what I can tell anyway. You can't drag a vein, can you? It's just the royals. Man, if only this was like Radiant Dawn where you got like bonus XP for every time that a unit sees combat an NPC, I mean. That would be nice. I don't know if it makes sense to take like this long route, but at least I'm in the woods, so I shouldn't get hit. And these guys have like no move. But this might make make me arrive too late. Depending on what Hinoka does. I think at some point he just flies left and then Sakura dies or something. Uh, the guy on the left is also probably gonna wreck her. But I don't know if I could have made it in time. It looks like Ryoma's gonna make it though. Uh, what's the wing condition anyway? Do I have to route? Yeah, I have to route, so... It's time to take on some of these dudes. Ryoma might do it for me though. But I hope he goes north. If he doesn't go north, north I might be fucked. Uh, what if these guys are like trapped here? Maybe I should have done the dragon thing. Because uh, I have to move like through these, but I can't move through these, so maybe I just can't move here. Maybe I just need to do the dragon thing. I think I do. Okay, we'll just hope Ryoma goes north <laughs> and takes care of business. Then I might have to reset. <laughs> okay, I don't think he will go north now. He has no reason to. Okay, he does. Cool. Okay, we will dragon vein after all. Let's see, maybe I can do this. Transfer. Separates. Oh, you still. Oh, I took off the other guy. Whatever. It's fine. No, stop it. Good job. Okay, it's just down to me now. Uh, can you like shuffle or anything? Oh, I know this skill. It's from Void Spitzar Transfer. Or rather, Void Spitzar Adventure got it from here. Seal resistance. That's actually kind of a funny skill to have around somewhere. Okay, I can give her extra move again. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we do Dragon Bane after all. Hopefully, I don't die here. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe I just can't die here. That's probably the case. It's just, it's so hard to intuitively know all this stuff when you've never played the game before. Or even if you've played it once, you're still paranoid you miss something. So you just try to play it safe. And one round aimlessly. Okay, that's Poison Strike. I heard that's a very annoying ability. Uh, but it only works when they initiate, I think. Yeah, so maybe I should kill this guy now. I can't kill him now. He's gonna... Um, hmm. I can attack this guy then. Eight and six plus poison strike, which is twenty percent. So that's about four HP. So four, six, and eight. I think I survived it at full health, but not if I'm not at full health. Uh, maybe poison strike can't activate when I kill him though, but I would have to take two counters for that. So I'm just gonna vulnerary up. Might be overkill, but I'd rather not reset. Okay, oh, I got the shield gauge too, though. It does matter. Yeah. Okay, does he still get poison strike now that I, like, dual guarded him? Or. Yeah, he does. Okay, and I'm fighting fight another guy, but I'm almost shield gauge again. Plus, I killed him, wow. Robin, you're so good sometimes. Much better than Corrin. Okay, this is a kill. And I think that was the poison strike guy, because the boss didn't have poison strike. He just has like seal strength. Which is kind of annoying, but I'm recovering from it fine, so whatever. Alright. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I 
so you better pick our side. Because if not, you'll face the business end of her weapon. My column detonates. Sad story. I feel like Mikoto is probably like the biggest victim of them slashing like 80% of the story that the guy wrote that was like 300 pages. I wonder if she says beautiful if you're a milkhorn. This isn't the worst bit of the story by any means. Like if this wasn't corn, if this wasn't a self insert, this would actually work for a hook of a story. I actually read a story on um, a post on Reddit a while ago that was like, that it described basically a Roman Germanic tale that fate seems to be based on or rather, it also has a kidnapped child. from two families that like raised in one and then ends up finding her their birth families in the other. Also, yay, this song again. Okay, Azura I find to be a very, very boring character. <laughs> the song is nice, I just didn't I just wish they didn't use it so much. From what I can tell, Zora is mostly like an exposition bot. Also, again, the idea of a parallel to Corrin that's kidnapped by the other side to revenge is not a bad idea. And I hate to use the phrase, but a lot of fate is like wasted potential. But, I mean, which you can say about just about anything, so I don't like saying it that way. But you can tell that there's something cool underneath the surface here. It just wasn't executed well. All right, so that's it for chapter four. I'm gonna record chapter 5 right away, but uh, with all the package opening, it's been a plenty long video, so uh, thank you guys for sticking with me, thank you for waiting, and if you want to see more, definitely subscribe and everything. Um, again, thanks to everyone who's helped this Let's Play come to this point where I'm actually sitting here at a <laughs> recording my 3DS with reasonable quality instead of the pile of books and storage boxes and everything. Uh, I enjoyed opening a ton of packages <laughs> and developing this. So thank you guys so much and see you next time.